Today I will be demonstrating non-visual techniques for how to identify coins and bills. For coins, we're going to talk about the quarter, dime, nickel, and penny. You can identify your coins simply by the size of the coin. If you put all of them together, you can tell a distinct difference in size. The quarter and the nickel are pretty close to size, so if you can't tell for sure, just run your finger along the edge of the quarter and you'll feel that it has ridges. The nickel is smooth. The same thing with the nickel and the, or with the penny and the dime. The penny is going to have a smooth edge and the dime is going to have ridges. So those are, those are distinct differences. One of the best strategies for identifying bills is to use various folding techniques. For ones, you can just keep them simply flat in your wallet. And for fives, you can take a five and fold it from right to left make a square, and just to remember that, think of it as a fat five, and then stick that in your wallet. For tens, if you take a ten and you fold it from the bottom to the top lengthwise, fold it, and stick it in your wallet like that, you would have a thin ten. One thing for twenties, there's a variety of different ways you can do this. For larger bills, you can stick them in a different compartment. But for a 20, you can do a double fold. You can fold it in half and then fold it lengthwise from top to bottom and you'll have a double fold. You can either store it right in your wallet that way or in a separate compartment. You can also take a 20 or another bill and fold, simply fold one of the quarter, corners down. Or you can paper clip them together.